What's up everyone? Welcome to NetTuts. In today's video quick tip, we are going to be working with CSS shapes in order to create uh, what's kind of popular right now is this little fold that you see where you have a heading and then it looks like it folds behind its container. Now most people use images for this but actually you can use a bit of trickery with CSS to kind of create the illusion of shapes. This is actually something I cover a little bit in my uh, recent book for Rockable from Photoshop to HTML. So check that out if you're interested. We're going to start here where I have created a div a container, pretty much just centered it, given it a height, and created a heading one tag. So you can see here, h1, this is the thing worth noting is I've embedded a span. So if you'd prefer, you can do this with JavaScript, add it dynamically or something like that. Uh, we'll keep it simple here. I've given it a class of arrow, and we're ready to begin. So I'm going to save that, and let's get started. So I'll begin by styling our heading one tag, and let's give it a background color kind of a lightish gray color. Let's give it some padding all around of 10 on the top and bottom and 20 on the left and right. I'm gonna push it from the left over 20 pixels to push it out. That way we can set up our fold. And I'm also going to set a position in context because we are going to be uh, positioning that little arrow within the heading tag. Next, let's zero at the margin top. Okay. And uh, let's set a width on it of about 70% and that way it'll only take up about that much. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're gonna come back to this and do some more, but that should be good for now. Now let's style the arrow that's within the heading one tag. And here's the trick. We set the width and the height to zero, and then we actually create the shape with borders. So I'm also gonna set line height to fix any possible issues with browsers. And now I'm gonna set border left, 20 pixels solid red, for example, and let's also set border top, you can play around with this as much as you want, C8, C8, C8. Okay, so you can see if I said border right, five pixel solid green, we're still creating a square or a rectangle, but notice that by setting certain sides equal to transparent or the background color, you can hide it, making it look like triangles. Pretty neat. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, and I'm gonna set 20 pixel solid transparent. And now you can see, notice that I've set C8 here, it's a little bit darker than this color, and all we have to do is position it all the way to the left. So I'm gonna set top 100% of its container, and that's gonna push it all the way down. But let's also make sure I set positioning of absolute in order to do so. And now I'm gonna set left of zero, and it pushes it into place very nicely. So that's cool, with a very little work we were able to create this, but we can take it a little bit further. I'm gonna add some shadow here, so Moz box shadow, and we're going to say uh, one pixel from the left, one pixel from the top, three pixels worth of blur, and 29. And now it looks like it's coming over it, but still, why don't we push our arrow down just a little bit? Let's push it down to maybe 104. And now, excuse me, now it looks like it's actually above the fold. Very cool. We can do a little bit more if we want. Let's go ahead and set up WebKit. And we'll do some last minute fun stuff, 45, 45 with the color. And let's set a text shadow of Zero, one pixel from the top, white, just to make it look nice. Looks good. So the last step is, remember, Internet Explorer doesn't understand box shadow. So it's going to render it like this with that little space. So let's take care of that really quickly. And I'll come down here. And we're simply going to say if Internet Explorer, probably be better to do if Internet Explorer 8 or below, but I'm crunched for time. And we're just going to create style tags. And we're going to, going to say arrow. In IE's case, just set the arrow top of 100% to fix it. And if I refresh the page, within a few minutes, we created a really cool fold flap using just CSS. And this will work in all browsers. IE6 has some issues with transparency, but that's not a big deal at all. So thanks for watching, and let me know what you think.